Hello, I'm Jo Bailey from Elmhurst Energy and today I'm here to show you the day in the life of a domestic energy assessor. I'll be explaining what a DEA does, what an energy assessment involves and how to become a domestic energy assessor. So what does a domestic energy assessor do? A DEA carries out energy efficiency assessments for domestic properties such as flats and houses. They use this information to produce an energy performance certificate for the property, which gives a rating of A to G, A being the most energy efficient and G being the least. You'll be examining things like property age and type, wall type, lighting, main and secondary heating, windows, roof, hot water and floor type. It's non-invasive, so there's no drilling or hammering through walls involved. It's about what you can see and the evidence that supports that. A typical day involves visiting the property and introducing yourself to the client. Depending on the size and complexity of the property, an assessment should take between 30 minutes and an hour. During this time, you'll be taking pictures of the property, measuring wall lengths and ceiling heights in order to create a floor plan checking boiler types, radiators and lighting, and measuring loft insulation. This is by no means an exhaustive checklist, but hopefully this will give you a flavour of what you'll be doing. Once the assessor has completed the assessment, they'll send a copy of the EPC to the client, either via post or email. And that's it, you're on to the next one. Being a DEA is a highly rewarding job and most people find that it's very flexible. If you're self-employed, you can choose your own hours. And for that reason, it's quite easy to fit around things like doctor's appointments or childcare. When I first started as a DEA, I was working for an estate agents and my boss wanted me to qualify in that area. Um, so when I left that job, I started doing EPCs on an ad hoc basis, which I was able to do because I became self-employed. Um, so some people choose to be self-employed, others choose to work for a company. It's really down to you what you prefer. The great thing about the DEA training is that you don't need a particular background or qualification in order to join the course. All you need are good people skills, an eye for detail and an interest in buildings and the environment. Everything else you are taught on the course. To become a DEA, you need to complete a three to five day DEA qualification course. Details about the course can be found on Elmhurst Energy's website. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch.